In chemistry, a cluster is an ensemble of bound atoms or molecules that is intermediate in size between a molecule and a bulk solid. Clusters exist of diverse stoichiometries and nuclearities. For example, carbon and boron atoms form fullerene and borane clusters, respectively. Transition metals and main group elements form especially robust clusters. Clusters can also consist solely of a certain kind of molecules, such as water clusters. The phrase cluster was coined by F.A. Cotton in the early 1960s to refer to compounds containing metal-metal bonds. In another definition a cluster compound contains a group of two or more metal atoms where direct and substantial metal bonding is present. The prefix terms, nuclear, and metallic, are used and imply different meanings. For example, polynuclear refers to a cluster with more than one metal atom, regardless of the elemental identities. Heteronuclear refers to a cluster with at least two different metal elements. The main cluster types are naked clusters without stabilizing ligands and those with ligands. For transition metal clusters, typical stabilizing ligands include carbon monoxide, halides, isocyanides, alkenes, and hydrides. For main group elements, typical clusters are stabilized by hydride ligands. Transition metal clusters are frequently composed of refractory metal atoms. In general metal centers with extended d orbitals form stable clusters because of favorable overlap of valence orbitals. Thus, metals with a low oxidation state for the later metals and mid-oxidation states for the early metals tend to form stable clusters. Polynuclear metal carbonyls are generally found in late transition metals with low formal oxidation states. The polyhedral skeletal electron pair theory or Wade's electron counting rules predict trends in the stability and structures of many metal clusters. Jemmy's MNO rules have provided additional insight into the relative stability of metal clusters. History and classification The development of cluster chemistry occurred contemporaneously along several independent lines, which are roughly classified in the following sections. The first synthetic metal cluster was probably calomel, which was known in India already in the 12th century. The existence of a mercury-to-mercury -mercury bond in this compound was established in the beginning of the 20th century. Topic atomic clusters Atomic clusters can be either pure, formed from a single atomic species, or mixed, formed from a mixed atomic species. Classifications criteria, by predominant bond nature, metallic, covalent, ionic, by atomic count, micro small, large, by electric, magnetic properties For the majority of atomic species there are clusters of certain atomic counts so-called magic numbers that have preponderant representation in the mass spectra, an indication of their greater stability with respect to dissociation when compared to their neighboring atomic counts. Molecular clusters Atomic and molecular clusters are aggregates of 5 to 105 atomic or molecular units. They are classified according to the forces holding them together. Van der Waals clusters – attraction between induced electric dipoles and repulsion between electron cores of closed electronic configurations. Metallic clusters, long-range valence electron sharing over many successive adjacent atoms and partially directional Ionic clusters, valence electrons are almost entirely transferred among closest neighbors to yield two net, equal but opposite, electric charge distributions that mutually attract, quantum many-body mechanisms are also important. The role of cluster formation in the precipitation of liquid mixtures and in the condensation, adsorption to surface or solidification phase transitions has long been investigated from a theoretical standpoint. Cluster system properties stem both from their size and composition which contributes to the binding force types that determine the number of dimensions of their phase space the ranges of accessible positions and velocities of their atomic components a gradual transition occurs between the properties of the molecular species and those of the corresponding bulk mix and yet the clusters exhibit physical and chemical properties specific only to their configuration space in turn strongly atom count dependent and not specific to their bulk counterparts cluster systems are metastable with respect to at least one of the following evolution classes 
Atom elimination or adsorption at cluster surface is a cause for their disassociation or growth. Configuration switches among a set of stable structures, aka an isomer class, accessible to all clusters of a same atom count and a same relative component composition. Many of their properties are due to the fact that a large fraction of their component atoms is found at their surface. With increasing size, the relative number of atoms at the cluster surface will scale approximately as n minus one third. One has to reach beyond a variable threshold of 9 to 27 component molecules depending on the strength of the intermolecular forces to find global minimum configurations that hold at least one interior molecule. At the other end of the scale a cluster of about 105 atoms will expose only about 10% of the atoms at its surface, a still significant percentage in comparison to the bulk solid. Transition metal carbonyl clusters The development of metal carbonyl clusters such as Ni 4 and Fe 5 led quickly to the isolation of Fe 2 9 and Fe 3 12. Rundle and Dahl discovered that Minnesota 2 10 featured an unsupported Minnesota Minnesota bond, thereby verifying the ability of metals to bond to one another in molecules. In the 1970s, Paolo Cini demonstrated that very large clusters could be prepared from the platinum metals, one example being RH13 CO 24H3 2 This area of cluster chemistry has benefited from single crystal X-ray diffraction. Topic: <laughs> Transition metal organic carbon organometallic clusters. Organometallic clusters contain metal-metal bonds as well as at least one CM bonds. One example is the methylidine tricobalt cluster Co3 CH CO9. The above-mentioned cluster serves as an example of an overall zero-charged neutral cluster. In addition, cationic positively charged rather than neutral organometallic trimolybdenum or tritungsten clusters are also known. The first representative of these ionic organometallic clusters is Mo3 CCH3 2 O2 CCH3 6 H2O 3 2 plus. Topic: Transition metal halide clusters. Linus Pauling showed that MOCl2 consisted of Mo6 octahedra. F. Albert Cotton established that RECL3 in fact features subunits of the cluster Re3Cl9, which could be converted to a host of adducts without breaking the Re-Re bonds. Because this compound is diamagnetic and not paramagnetic the rhenium bonds are double bonds and not single bonds. In the solid state further bridging occurs between neighbors and when this compound is dissolved in hydrochloric acid a Re3Cl123- complex forms. An example of a tetranuclear complex is hexadecamethoxytetratungsten W4 OCH3 12 with tungsten single bonds and molybdenum chloride Mo6 Cl8 Cl4 is a hexanuclear molybdenum compound and an example of an octahedral cluster. A related group of clusters with the general formula MXMO6X8 such as PBMO6S8 form a chevral phase, which exhibit superconductivity at low temperatures. The eclipsed structure of potassium octachlorodiranate 3 k 2 re 2 cl 8 was explained by invoking quadruple bonding. This discovery led to a broad range of derivatives including D-tungsten tetra HPP, the current 2007 record holder low ionization energy. Topic: <laughs> Boron hydrides. Contemporaneously with the development of metal cluster compounds, numerous boron hydrides were discovered by Alfred Stock and his successors who popularized the use of vacuum lines for the manipulation of these often volatile, air-sensitive materials. Clusters of boron are boranes such as pentaborane and decaborane. Composite clusters containing CH and BH vertices are carboranes. Fe-S clusters in biology 
In the 1970s, ferredoxin was demonstrated to contain iron 2 sulfide clusters and later nitrogenase was shown to contain a distinctive MO7S9 active site. The Fe S clusters mainly serve as redox cofactors, but some have a catalytic function. In the area of bioinorganic chemistry, a variety of Fe S clusters have also been identified that have CO as ligands. Zintl clusters Zintl compounds feature naked anionic clusters that are generated by reduction of heavy main group P elements, mostly metals or semimetals, with alkali metals, often as a solution in anhydrous liquid ammonia or ethylene diamine. Examples of zintl anions are Bi3 -3 SN9 -4 PB9 -4 and SB7 -3 Although these species are called naked clusters, they are usually strongly associated with alkali metal cations. Some examples have been isolated using cryptate complexes of the alkali metal cation, e.g., Pb10 anion, which features a capped square antiprismatic shape. According to Wade's rules, 2n2, the number of cluster electrons is 22 and therefore a closo cluster. The compound is prepared from oxidation of K4-peta bits 9 by O plus in pph 3 gold one chloride by reaction of tetrachlorooric acid and triphenylphosphine in ethylene diamine with 2.2.2 crypt. This type of cluster was already known as as the endohedral Ni at Pb102- the cage contains one nickel atom, the icosahedral tin cluster SN122- or stanospherine anion is another closed shell structure observed but not isolated with photoelectron spectroscopy. With an internal diameter of 6.1 angstrom, it is of comparable size to fullerene and should be capable of containing small atoms in the same manner as endohedral fullerenes, and indeed exists a SN12 cluster that contains an IR atom, IR at SN12 3 <laughs> Topic. Metalloid clusters Elementoid clusters are ligand-stabilized clusters of metal atoms that possess more direct element-element than element-ligand contacts. Examples of structurally characterized clusters feature ligand-stabilized cores of Al-77, Ga-84, and Pd-145. <laughs> Intermetalloid clusters These clusters consist of at least two different semi metallic elements, and possess more direct metal-metal than metal-ligand contacts. The suffix OID designate that such clusters possess at a molecular scale, atom arrangements that appear in bulk intermetallic compounds with high coordination numbers of the atoms, such as for example in Laves phase and hume rothery phases. Ligand-free intermetalloid clusters include also endohedrally filled zintl clusters. A synonym for ligand-stabilized intermetalloid clusters is molecular alloy. The clusters appear as discrete units in intermetallic compounds separated from each other by electropositive atoms such as Sn at Q12 at Sn20 12 minus, as soluble ions as at Ni12 at As20 3 minus, or as ligand-stabilized molecules such as Mo ZnCH3 9 ZnCp3. Topic. Gas phase clusters and fullerenes Unstable clusters can also be observed in the gas phase by means of mass spectrometry, even though they may be thermodynamically unstable and aggregate easily upon condensation. Such naked clusters, i.e. those that are not stabilized by ligands, are often produced by laser-induced evaporation, or ablation, of a bulk metal or metal-containing compound. Typically, this approach produces a broad distribution of size distributions. Their electronic structures can be interrogated by techniques such as photoelectron spectroscopy, while infrared multiphoton dissociation spectroscopy is more probing the cluster's geometry. Their properties reactivity, ionization potential, homo-lumo gap often show a pronounced size dependence. Examples of such clusters are certain aluminium clusters as superatoms and certain gold clusters. Certain metal clusters are considered to exhibit metal aromaticity. 
In some cases, the results of laser ablation experiments are translated to isolated compounds, and the premier cases are the clusters of carbon called the fullerenes, notably clusters with the formula C60, C70, and C84. The fullerene sphere can be filled with small molecules, forming endohedral fullerenes. Topic: <inaudible> Extended metal atom chains. Extended metal atom chain complexes (EMAC) are a novel topic in academic research. An EMAC is composed of linear chains of metal atoms stabilized with ligands. EMACs are known based on nickel with nine atoms, chromium and cobalt seven atoms, and ruthenium five atoms. In theory it should be possible to obtain infinite one-dimensional molecules and research is oriented towards this goal. In one study an EMAC was obtained that consisted of nine chromium atoms in a linear array with four ligands based on an oligopyridine wrapped around it. In it the chromium chain contains four quadruple bonds. Metal clusters in catalysis Although few metal carbonyl clusters are catalytically useful, naturally occurring iron sulfur proteins catalyse a variety of transformations, such as the stereospecific isomerization of citrate to isocitrate via cisaconitate, as required by the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Nitrogen is reduced to ammonia at an fe -MO s cluster at the heart of the enzyme nitrogenase. CO is oxidized to CO2 by the Fe-Ni s cluster carbon monoxide dehydrogenase. Hydrogenases rely on Fe2 and NIFE clusters. Isoprenoid biosynthesis, at least in certain organisms, requires Fe S clusters. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Catalysis by metal carbonyl clusters. Metal carbonyl cluster compounds have been evaluated as catalysts for a wide range of reactions, especially for conversions of carbon monoxide. No industrial applications exist however. The clusters RU3 CO12 and IR4 CO12 catalyze the water gas shift reaction, also catalyzed by iron oxide, and RH6 CO16 catalyzes the conversion of carbon monoxide into hydrocarbons, reminiscent of the fischer tropsch process, also catalyzed by simple iron compounds. Some define cluster catalysis to include clusters that have only one active site on one metal atom. The definition can be further relaxed to include clusters that remain intact during at least one reaction step, and can be fragmented in all others. Metal carbonyl clusters have several properties that suggest that they may prove as useful catalysts. The absence of large bulk phases leads to a high surface to volume ratio, which is advantageous in any catalyst application as this maximizes the reaction rate per unit amount of catalyst material, which also minimizes cost. Although surface metal sites in heterogeneous catalysts are coordinatively unsaturated, most synthetic clusters are not. In general, as the number of atoms in a metal particle decrease, their coordination number decreases, and significantly so in particles having less than 100 atoms. This is illustrated by the figure at right, which shows dispersion ratio of undercoordinated surface atoms to total atoms versus number of metal atoms per particle for ideal icosahedral metal clusters. Stereodynamics of clusters Metal clusters are sometimes characterized by a high degree of fluxionality of surface ligands and adsorbates associated with a low energy barrier to rearrangement of these species on the surface. The rearrangement of ligands on a cluster exterior is indirectly related to the diffusion of adsorbates on solid metal surfaces. Interconversion ligands between terminal, double, and triply bridging sites is often facile. It has further been found that metal atoms themselves can easily migrate in or break their bonds with the cluster structure. Topic: <laughs> Appendix: Examples of reactions catalyzed by transition metal carbonyl clusters. Although not used for any commercial process, metal carbonyl clusters have been subjected to many studies aimed at demonstrating their reactivity. Some of these examples include the following. Topic: Fischer-Tropsch catalysis. 
Species that are typical ligands for a metal cluster represent obvious reactant catalyst combinations. For example, hydrogenation of CO synthesis can be catalyzed using several metal clusters, as shown in the table above. It has been proposed that coordination of CO to multiple metal sites weakens the triple bond enough to allow hydrogenation. As in the industrially significant heterogeneous process, fischer tropsch synthesis by clusters yields alkanes, alkenes, and various oxygenates. The selectivity is heavily influenced by the particular cluster used. For example, IR4 CO12 produces methanol, whereas RU2RH CO12 produces ethylene glycol. Selectivity is determined by several factors, including steric and electronic effects. Steric effects are the most important consideration in many cases, however electronic effects dominate in hydrogenation reactions where one adsorbit hydrogen is relatively small. In some cases, a metal cluster must be activated for catalysis by substitution of one or more ligands, such as acetonitrile. For example, OS3 CO12 will have one active site after thermolysis and the dissociation of a single carbonyl group. OS3 CO10 CH3 CN2 will have two active sites. Topic: <laughs> Computational studies. Computational studies have progressed from sum of energies calculations incorporating Huckel theory type approximations to density functional theory DFT. An example of the former is empirical packing energy calculations, where only interactions between adjacent atoms are considered. The packing potential energy can be expressed as follows E equals I J A E minus B R I J minus C R I J minus Q I Q J R I J Display style E equals sum underscore I sum underscore J left of Mathem East carrot bridge underscore I J C R underscore I J F R A C Q underscore I Q underscore J R underscore I J right where index I refers to all atoms of a reference molecule in the cluster lattice, index J refers to atoms in surrounding molecules according to crystal symmetry, and A, B, and C are parameters. The advantage of such methods is ease of computation, however accuracy is dependent on the particular assumptions made. DFT has been used more recently to study a wide variety of properties of metal clusters. Its advantages are being a first principles approach without need of parameters, and the ability to study clusters without ligands of a definitive size. However the fundamental form of the energy functional is only approximately known, and unlike other methods there is no hierarchy of approximations which allow a systematic optimization of results. Tight bonding molecular dynamics has been used to study bond lengths, bond energies, and magnetic properties of metal clusters, however this method is less effective for clusters with less than 10-20 metal atoms due to a larger influence of approximation errors for small clusters. There are limitations on the other extreme as well that exist with any computation method, that the approach to bulk-like properties is difficult to capture because at these cluster sizes the cluster model becomes increasingly complex. See also Cluster physics Water molecules form clusters as well, see water clusters Metalloprism